Hi there, in this video I'm going to take a look at calculating the Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index, or SAVI, using Sentinel-2 satellite imagery in QGIS. So in my previous video I looked at calculating the Normalised Difference Vegetation Index, or NDVI. Um, and this is a widely used metric for looking at vegetation development and vegetation health. Uh, but in a 1991 paper, Jackson and Hoyt identified that there are some limitations with NDVI. And one of these is the influence that comes from soil reflectance. So essentially our NDVI value is being influenced by the soil as well as by the green vegetation that we're interested in. So they proposed an alternative metric, the Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index, which was very similar to NDVI in that it made use of the red band, so band four in our sentinel imagery, uh, which has low reflectance from vegetation, and the near infrared band, band 8, in our Sentinel 2 imagery, which has very high reflectance from vegetation, but also included an additional parameter, which they termed L, which is essentially a factor that accounts for the soil reflectance. So I'm now going to show you how we can use bands 4 and 8 of our Sentinel 2 imagery in order to calculate the soil adjusted vegetation index. So I'm assuming that you've already got your Sentinel-2 satellite imagery downloaded. So if you haven't done that already, um, then please check out my other videos for a tutorial that shows you how to do that. So we're going to come up here to the raster menu and open up the raster calculator. So our formula for soil adjusted vegetation index starts off very much like NDVI. Open brackets, band 8 and near infrared band minus band 4 our red band, close brackets, then divided by, open brackets, band 8, near infrared again, plus band 4, our red band, but this time we're also going to add L, our um, factor for accounting for soil brightness. And in the original paper they recommended a value of 0.5, but actually the European Space Agency um, who operate the Sentinel satellites recommend in this case a value of 0.428. So that's what we're going to go with today. So plus 0.428. And then all of this is now multiplied by 1 plus L. So 1 plus 0.428. Close brackets. And that's our formula for soil adjusted vegetation index. So near infrared band minus red band divided by near infrared band plus red band plus L times 1 plus L. So I'm just going to save this as SAVI underscore June 18, because this is actually using a Sentinel image from June 2018, and click OK to calculate that. So as always, this will take a minute to run, so just be patient. OK, and here we have our soil adjusted vegetation index. So as always the default grayscale colour ramp isn't the best for picking out different features so we can right click on the layer, go into properties and symbology and change it to a single band pseudo colour colour ramp of our choice, play around with the settings. So I've actually created a style previously that I think works reasonably well. Um, so as with the NDVI I'm going to make this QJS style file available available on my website, amdgs.co.uk. So head over there if you want to download this style file. And we can now see our SAVI a bit more clearly. So what I'm going to do is actually compare this to the NDVI um, for the same image. And we can see that overall it's pretty similar. I mean, we're basing it on the same two bands, so we're not expecting any drastic differences. But what we should see is that there are a few adjustments, particularly in the areas where we've got bare soil, where obviously a soil adjustment is going to have the greatest impact. Um, and in some areas we should see that we have slightly greater contrast, we're picking up greater variations. Um, so this is quite a good example just down here. If I put on, this is the NDVI, um, it kind of saturates out at the lowest values. And actually with the SAVI, we can actually pick up slightly more variation um, within this area.
So there you go, that's how to calculate the soil adjusted vegetation index. Uh, now it's worth noting that there is a school of thought that says using a single value for our soil adjustment factor L isn't the best way to go and that actually we should calculate it empirically on a case by case basis. And there is actually another paper um, with some of the same authors that calculates a modified soil adjusted vegetation index that does just that. It uses some other factors in order to actually calculate our value for L on a case by case basis. Um, and I will be covering that along with a number of other vegetation indices in my future videos. So please subscribe and check back if you want to, to see those. Thanks a lot.